I think that these shows are really personal and they're dealing with personal issues that I think lots of people can also sort of have a affinity toward, regardless of the fact if you're an art person or not. Intimate Actions at the Bemis Center is made up of three solo exhibitions, featuring work by artists Joey Farso, Paul and Poggy Sapoya, and Maria Antelman. They're all really dealing with intimacy in various ways. Um, you know, the intimacy that you have with your own body, as well as the bodies of other people in your lives. From portraits to sculptures to videos, Chief Curator Rachel Adams says the exhibitions speak to our relationships allowing visitors to reflect on the last year and what it means to be human during this time. The fracturing of space that happens, you know, both with like Paul's work in the mirror and the body sort of gets fractured. Joey here is really thinking about layers and like expanding out of what is known as like a typical painting. Maria's frames, which are like these sort of diagrammatic frames, are kind of like creating stories with the image as well. Dewan Lamont Hayes is an artist and facilitator of public assembly a virtual event that gives the community an opportunity to have a broader discussion about the art featured at the Bemis. After a year of just like being driven apart and really wondering like, what does it mean to be close? What does it mean to connect? Public Assembly is an opportunity to maybe take an art piece, an image, an idea, a concept, and dive into it and pull it apart and then have a robust conversation with other people about it. The next event on April 8th, will look at Maria Antelman's exhibition, discussing what it means to be classic. Hayes says supporting Omaha's creative community is important and public assembly is a good entry point. Support your creative communities. We need you um, and you need us. So let's work together because we help make the world a more beautiful place. Reporting in Omaha, Danielle Meadows, 3 News Now.